about the different projects you have been working on, whether as a uh, compositing supervisor or in your previous career? The first project I ever worked on was uh, Batman's Dark Knight. So it was really special because it was a big feature and a lot of pressure because we wanted to be uh, very relevant with the story. And then after that, uh, I started some other projects, some French projects like uh, After Anime and Emerge. And uh, also, uh, when I started to work as a team, I went to uh, this company named the Mission Magaz, in which I worked on uh, Despicable Me 2, Minions, and then I arrived at Mikos, where I worked on Shadow Bones, or Asterix and the Super Apple Smash Heat, also SpongeBob. And now on a specific project that we are presenting uh, this week at MC, which is called OZ. Great! So a lot of variety in terms of uh, projects. Do you have a favorite one? They all have a special place in my heart. <laughs> no, it's very difficult to say that I have a I don't know. I really have a special thing with OZ going on. Um, I guess because it's the current one. <laughs> but uh, it's really about the team and about the message of the movie. And this is really close to my heart. So yeah. I guess that the hardest challenge is about time. <laughs> because we're at the end of the chain of production, we always have a, a, a little amount of time to spend on compositing, but we still really want to do our job really well. So we always need to fight the clock. And like, I guess the way to overcome it is it's more like organization and how to think in advance of the challenges that we are going to face at the end of the project. And I think that uh, the second big challenge of each show is about uh, entering the artistic direction and, and the word of the movie that we're working on. Each movie is really specific, each movie is really different. And we need to understand what is the vision of the movie, what is the message of the movie. And how the art director, or the production designer, and the uh, director wants us to put it into image. So yes, it's a lot of communication to understand where they want to lead us. And for me, this is like the perfect thing in the project. Um, it's really interesting because each project is really different. Ozi has a specific touch, a graphical touch that is done in compositing. Uh, we wanted to uh, give it a a special look, uh, even, yeah, and a lot has been done with the artistic direction of Among Us and with the characters and also the environment, but we wanted to add something more with the compositing and so I'm not sure I can say how we do it technically, <laughs> but uh, for sure what I can say is that uh, one of the main reforms was the movie Bambi from Disney and we took a lot of inspiration from how they treated the backgrounds, how they treated the set, uh, the pantry effect that we had in the movies, how they were erasing detail in order to give more importance to the, to the animation and to what was happening during the shots. And uh, yeah, please support us. What are you up to? So you mentioned OZ. OZ is still ongoing. Yes, OZ is still ongoing. A lot of challenges are waiting for us. Um, we are expecting to deliver the movie by the month of October. So yeah, we we are still at the beginning of compositing. We still have a major part of the movie to do, but uh, it's really interesting to see the few first sequences uh, coming to an end and see how they're connecting all together. And we were really happy to present it to NC to have the feedbacks from everyone. I think that um, you need to be passionate because if you're passionate, you will want to produce, you will want to show your stuff and we're really happy to see everything that you're doing. Uh, don't be afraid to be a junior. Everyone started as a junior, so it's perfectly okay. Uh, if you're a student, if you're just fresh out of school, 
come meet us, reach us by the social media, the everything, like our recruiters are here. And uh, yeah, we're always happy to meet new talents, so don't hesitate. Great. And uh, any tip for the people who would like to start a career in compositing? Start a career in compositing, okay. Um, if you want specifically to start a career in compositing and animated movies, I would say to start to be very careful about colors. To be creating in colors is like the really essential tips that I can give to people. It's like 80% of the job and um, you need to shape your eyes. And this is the hardest thing to do, but this is the more interesting thing to do and the more you would do and the more you will learn. And so, yeah, don't be, don't be afraid to just try new things and get out of your comfort zone. And yeah, it's always good. And as you say, to understand and uh, the art direction of the film and to understand the spirit of uh, the film people are working on. Yeah, yeah, especially here at Micros Animations because we are doing movies uh, for others. Uh, so they come with uh, what they had in mind, what their vision were, and you need to understand where they want to lead you to. So it's not about what you like to do, it's more about what they expecting you to do. And this is sometimes challenging, but always very interesting, because it's always leading you to a path where you maybe not thought at the beginning. So yeah, it's, it's really nice to meet new people and new directors, designers, and everything. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, we have some questions from the people who are following us. Just behind you, we saw the trailer of Paw Patrol the movie. Do you have a favorite character of Paw Patrol or any other shows uh, that you've been working on? Oh, wow, that is tough. Okay. Um, I have to admit, I don't know much the characters of Paw Patrol. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I know. yeah, yeah, I'm not too bad. I'm a loser and everything. Uh, yeah, but uh, on SpongeBob, I really like Patrick because it's goofy, because it's dummy. Uh, and yeah, on each, uh, on each show, you have your favorite character. But I can see crutches behind me. Great. Thank you very much, and Sophie. A lot of applause for Sophie Palermo. Thank you very much for coming.